Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Dip City canned after two seasons despite award winning run. Some Zanzi Magic's Deep City has reached the end of its journey. According to a statement that was released by Mzansi Magic, the series produced by Mandla N's Black Brain Pictures will air its final episode on March the 3rd next year. Now this is despite the show featuring a star-studded cast. Now in a statement that was sent to the papers, Black Brain said that the show was slated for two years and the contract is nearing its end. Now the statement reads as follows, the contract was supposed to be for one year to stabilize the 8.30pm slot from Zanzi Magic but it was so successful they gave us another year. Now we have so many other big things we're doing. For me, the exciting part is what's coming next. There's no regret, I'm a content creator so obviously I've been through this with shows such as Lockdown and huge shows such as El Stella and all sorts of things. Now Mandla N said that the news was announced now to prepare fans, actors and filmmakers. So fans, are you prepared? But moving right along as I mentioned earlier, Deep City has won multiple awards and introduced new faces to the entertainment industry with the director saying it's been more amazing times rather than sad times. Mandlayen went on to say, we've developed great names that are now fully fledged in the industry. They were new faces, it was first time for them on TV and we groomed them, not only for Black Brain but for other production houses, so you will be seeing them on other shows. Our job as Black Brain is to discover new people and bring them into the industry. Now Mandla also went on to say that he is looking forward to sharing what Black Brain has in the pipeline. He goes on to say, we are working on a couple of movies and other huge international projects and that's part of the reason we okay with stopping the show after the second season. We've got a big series that we are working on, it's going to be broadcast on an international platform. I wonder what international platform is talking about, could it be Netflix? Hmm? Moving right along, he goes on to say, we want to export our work. We don't want our South African actors to only have the South African platform. We want to develop them for global consumption. Look, those are great and lofty goals over there. And I do wish that uh, Mandla N does get to that point. And I can't wait to see the new show that he's producing. And uh, look, I mean, get in the comment section down below and let me know what international platform do you guys think that he is talking about. Personally, I'm going to guess Netflix because Showmax is not international is it? But yeah, apart from that, you know, taking a look at some of the reactions on social media to this devastating news, one user wrote, the best thing that has ever happened to SA Television, that is Ispire. Now, for those that don't know, Deep City took over the time slot from Ispire, so, you know, people, I'm, I'm assuming they want Ispire back. And another user wrote, Ispire must come back with new talents, obvious mixed with the old actors, but they must never leave out Mpiake. Another user wrote, yo, I miss this buyer, especially when they turned Zumu into Mkov. Ah yes, that was a great storyline. I remember making videos about that actually here on the channel. Another user wrote, I stopped watching TV shows after Ispire was cancelled. And lastly, another user wrote, Multi-Choice shouldn't have allowed Ispire to end. I stopped subscribing after. Even when Ispire had a rubbish storyline, it was still watchable. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the cries to bring back Ispire are, oh, well, strong, especially on social media. Do get in the comment section down below and let me know what do you guys think about that. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Casper Nyovest doesn't need to make a song to survive anymore. Rapper Casper Nyovest says that he doesn't need to make a song to survive anymore. Now taking to his Twitter timeline recently, Casper thanked his fans for allowing him to express himself artistically. Casper posted the following on social media, I've been competing commercially for 10 years and we've had a lot of commercial success, the level many artists will never see. I don't need to make a song to survive anymore, it feels so good. None of this would have been possible without your undying support, thank you Team Your Vest. 
Look, as a fan of Casper Nyovis, I count myself amongst that team Casper Nyovis. Yeah, man, I mean, just delivered some great music. I've enjoyed his albums, listened to most of them throughout, and I definitely still got a couple of songs on my hip hop playlist. So yeah, you are welcome, Casper. But don't think that Casper is actually saying that he is done with music. Casper is actually dropping a new track on Friday and said that if it doesn't connect with fans, they can keep it moving. Casper wrote, I'm dropping a new single on Friday. It's probably nothing like what you are expecting, but it is where I am at creatively. It is the stuff I play for myself in the studio and jump around alone. It's what makes me feel good. Hopefully you dig it if you don't catch you on the next one. Now the single's actually already out, it's titled Put Your Hands Out. Now do get in the comment section down below if you've listened to it and uh, let me know what did you think about it. Personally, yeah, I have listened to it and uh, I added it to my hip-hop playlist. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I don't know, it's just got that uh, old school house type of beat, like mid-tempo type of thing. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of nostalgia about it and uh, I do enjoy Casper's raps on that thing. So look, it's a good song, it's a good song. But I do need to keep it on repeat a couple more times, you know, till it gets a little bit of a scratch. <laughs> Even though it's a digital song. Look, I'm that type of guy who does, you know, when I hear a nice song that I like, I do repeat it quite a number of times. Because when I move on from a song, I do move on. But at least I'll know I got it out of my system. Our next topic, Silo Makega Ngube wins legal battle against ex-wife. Legendary actor Silo Makega Ngube has won the first round of his legal battles against his ex-wife, Badli Samboweni. Now, Silo has successfully opposed an application for an order to him to pay an exorbitant legal bill sent to him by his ex-wife's lawyers, in which they demanded over 123000 from him. Now, Silo Makega Ngube and Mboweni divorced in 2014 after less than a year of marriage. Now she hired attorneys to represent her in the divorce case which was heard in the Pretoria High Court. Now after the decree of divorce was issued, the lawyers sent the bill to the former generations actor and ordered him to pay. The lawyers had, among other things, charged Silo Magiganube 5,000 Rand for file opening and administration, 2,261 Rand for receiving and pursuing discovery notices, over 21 1,000 rands for preparing the divorce trial, over 43,000 rands for attending the trial and over 13,000 rand for attending a pre-trial meeting. Look, I'm sure we've heard the saying before, but yeah, lawyer fees. <laughs> Damn. I mean, personally, if it does cost that much to get a lawyer to represent you in a divorce, I might look at my exchange partner like, you know what? Nah, it's cheaper to just keep you. But moving right along, the papers claim that they have actually seen the court papers and Silo said that he objected the amount because all costs and charges and expenses were not reasonably and properly incurred in relation to his claim and attainment of justice. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the court ruled in his favor and that particular court ruling reads as follows. Although it may be found that all expenses were reasonably and properly incurred, the quantum for such accounts and documents were not reasonable and the taxing master should have the opportunity to call such accounts and documents as he, she may think necessary in order to decide the reasonableness therefore. Take further notice that the plaintiff's objections are attached here too. Two. Now, Sunday will claim that they actually did speak to Silo, who confirmed that he has successfully opposed the taxation. He said that the lawyers had initially demanded 123,000 rands from him, but when he objected, they dragged him to court. He went on to say that when he arrived with his lawyers in court on the date of the hearing, they reduced the amount to 84,000 rands. Silo is quoted as saying the following, but the taxing master reduced it to 7,000 rand. He also said because we were married in community of property she should pay 50 percent of the amount so i immediately paid them 3,500 rands. Now Silo Makega Ngube also advised Mboweni to leave him alone and move on with her life. He went on to say, I welcome the ruling by the court and I have paid my 50% of the legal bill. I wish Ms. Mboweni can move on from this matter and more importantly, move on for the sake of her children. In her quest to tarnish my name, she is unfortunately doing the same with her own name. I wish her all the best with the rest of her life. Now apparently this court battle is actually far from over as uh, her lawyers are challenging the verdict. So there might be further reports and a round two to come. 
I will say this, women are dangerous. Imagine 123,000 taken all the way down to 7,000 that is split in half by the two parties. Look fellas, it does seem that when the relationship is over, women automatically go into let me destroy this man's bag and everything mode. But fellas, I'm sure you've heard the saying, Amandla Wendota, our pay. Roughly translated, a man's strength never ends. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.